The LA Rams faced a tough loss this past Sunday, and now rumors are swirling about a potential shakeup in the roster. Could a star player be on the trading block? As fans, we all know how crucial every position is, especially when it comes to our defense. Stay tuned, because what's happening next could change the game for us. Be sure to subscribe and hit that like button to keep up with all the latest on our beloved Rams. So in the aftermath of a heart-wrenching defeat, the Rams are now grappling with some serious decisions regarding their lineup. Headers up with this is time to make a bold move that could send shockwaves through the league. As we dive into this speculation, we have to consider what it means for our playoff hopes. I don't miss out on the full breakdown and make sure to subscribe and like this last video to stay in the loop with everything Rams related. With the season heating up, the LA Rams are looking to bounce back from a tough match, and whispers of a major signing are making waves. How will those new addition impact our strategy moving forward? The excitement is building and we need to discuss how this could be the spark that ignites our playoff run. Make sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up so you don't miss any updates on the Rams. The Chicago Bears just snagged a win against the Los Angeles Rams, and Tory Taylor, their rookie punter, is stealing the spotlight after being named NFC Special Teams Player of the Week. So let's dive into what happened last Sunday at Soldier Field and what it means moving forward for us Rams fans. First off, Taylor's performance was nothing short of spectacular. Averaging 55.4 yards on five punts, he delivered a standout that has Beers fans buzzing. The highlight, a jaw-dropping 66-yard punt that pinned the Rams deep in our territory in the fourth quarter. So, and can you believe the impact on the game and game could put our fence in a tough spot, forcing us to battle against a solid Chicago defense? Not the kind of situation we want to find ourselves in, right? Three of Taylor's punts landed inside the 20-yard line. It's moments like these that can change the momentum of a game. And let's not forget, according to Pro Football Focus, Taylor received his highest special teams grade of the season at 69.1 against us. That's a complete turnaround from the previous week when he averaged just 36 yards per punt against the Colts. And so, what does this tell us? It shows how critical it is to maintain consistency, especially on special teams. Looking at the stats, Taylor was drafted in the fourth round out of Iowa for a reason. He ranked fourth in yards per punt and first in net yards per punt across all FBS schools. So those numbers are impressive and they highlight just how valuable he could be for the Bears moving forward. The Bears now have a young punter who can change the game with one kick, and that's a scary thought for any opposing team. However, let's pivot here and think about our Rams. What does this mean for us? Our defense has been solid, but we need to ensure that we're not putting them in tough positions consistently. So we cannot afford to give up big plays on special teams and allow opponents to dictate the field position. So as we look to our next matchup against the Carolina Panthers, we need to address these issues. So, and now I have to ask, you believe this was the best decision for the Bears to stick with a rookie punter? I honestly am a bit torn on this. While we can acknowledge Taylor's talent, relying too heavily on a rookie can lead to the consistencies. It's a gamble, and I'm not sure if it's the right path for Chicago. But let's be real, we have to focus on our future as well. For us, it's about making those critical adjustments. We need to ensure that our special teams are firing on all cylinders to avoid similar situations. It's not just about the offense and defense. Special teams can be a game changer, and we need to remember that moving forward. Now, I want to hear from you. With Taylor's emergence as a punter, do you think the Bears have an edge moving forward? Or do you feel like this is just a flash in the pan? I want to know your thoughts. Share your expectations and frustrations in the comments below. So as we gear up for the Panthers, we have to remain optimistic while also realistic about the challenges ahead. So our Rams need to step it up and show that we can overcome these hurdles. Will we come out on top? I'm only time will tell, but I'm hopeful. And before you go, don't forget to like this video, share it with your fellow Rams fans, and subscribe to the channel for all the latest updates on our team. So you will not want to miss any of the essential news as we navigate through the season, and make sure to activate that notification bell so you're always in the loop. Let's keep the conversation going, and I'll see you in the comments.